One of the people who would be happy to finally have proof the particle exists is with me in the studio today, Sven Olaf Moch from DESI, the biggest German accelerator in Hamburg and Seuten here close to Berlin. Now your colleague Reinhard Walny just said that he would eat an old hat if nothing exciting is found over the next five years. What about you? Well, I think uh, the chances that uh, Reinhard Walny has to actually fulfill his bet are, are rather low. I'm fully convinced that over the next years at the LHC at CERN, we will find new exciting phenomena, either the Higgs or other new, more speculative phenomena. So I believe that you actually don't have to eat this old hat. Yeah, but you are still looking for it. You haven't found it. And what kind of a problem would it pose if the Higgs particle, which conveys mass to everything, is actually not found? Well, you're right. I mean, at the moment, the Higgs particle exists in theory, so uh, it's postulated and we need to prove its existence. Um, but uh, it is absolutely vital to, um, uh, for our theory formulation for the particle to exist because uh, uh, it is, as you said, responsible for generating mass to, to elementary particles like the electron, things that, uh, that, that we all know to exist. But we, we don't really, uh, we haven't figured out how the, the electron becomes uh, has acquired its mass yet and there the Higgs particle is, is crucial in, in our understanding. Actually I don't understand because everything in this world has mass and all the objects we have for example in the studio have mass. How come physicists have a problem with this description? Oh, you, you're right. I mean we can we can weigh things, we can put them, uh, determine its, its mass by in, in kilograms whatever. With elementary particles it's a bit different and uh, we have a, form, a theory formulation that the standard model of elementary particles uh, and the Higgs boson is an integral part of that, uh, which it fulfills w w with the purpose of giving um, the particles a, a mass in this theory formulation. Uh -huh. So if we don't find a Higgs boson or if it doesn't exist, then... Mass it doesn't exist. No, no, no. It means our theory <laughs> formulation is wrong and then we have to search for some, something else. But we're quite confident that this, this uh, phenomena as postulated with a Higgs boson should emerge and uh, should be seen eventually. In a you're, you're actually working on the theoretical part of elementary particle physics. So yeah. if the Higgs is not found, you would actually be challenged to come up with completely new models. Have any ideas yet? Uh, well, there are other models like you can take the existing elementary particles and postulate new forces which would uh, sort of mimic um, mm -hmm. an, an effect of the Higgs boson. So th things like that have been looked into in the past. From a theoretical point of view, they are less attractive. We would say they are not the most natural uh -huh. candidates we would come up with. Not but that beautiful, maybe. Exactly. So if beauty is... Uh, but it's, it's theory, a theoretical prejudice. In the end, uh, the experiment has to decide uh, and, and then we will know in which direction we need to go. Thanks a lot for the talk. Let's hope you'll find your Higgs boson. Thanks, uh, okay. Sven Olaf